some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Yeah, that's the kind of guy who looks in the mirror when he's having sex. Come on, make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to bring to the stage? What's in the vape? Are you kind of, is it nicotine or is it math? Your headliner for the evening. Have you ever done cocaine? Ah! Springfield, give a warm welcome for T.J. Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for T.J. Yes! Sit, sit. You guys, I can't believe he made you stand up. Amazing. That was really rude of him. Now I kind of have an audience that's like, well, fuck you, TJ. And one guy very excitedly clapping. Is this your buddy? I was about to ask you if you were here alone. And then this fucking guy came sauntering in. Just shorts and a fucking beanie. Hoodie and facial hair that says, I don't care and I'm also high. Which is kind of what my facial hair says, to be honest with you. I love shorts for the evening. Were you, actually, I've never asked this. Were you in pants during the day? And you decide, I could get out of these and get ready to go out. He's just, he's so funny all day, he's just hanging out in a tuxedo, watching the XFL. And he's like, all right, it's time for a big night out. <laughs> so fun. You vaping? Vaping? Vapor? Can you do any tricks? I, think, I mean, I figure if you're addicted, you might as well, you know, learn a couple tricks. What's in the vapor? You kind of, is it nicotine or is it meth? What are you trying to get off of? What flavor are you sucking on? Zombie what is it? Zombie snot. Zombie snot. <laughs> cool. Cool, man. That's pretty cool. What, I want to know what you guys think my reaction should have been. Like, I thought long and hard about it, and I went with cool, and I, a lot of people in here were like, nah, I would have done something else. What would you say if somebody came over here and was like, hey, I'm just vaping. You want to hear what I'm vaping on? You're like, not really, and they're like, zombie snot. What would you say? Oh, uh, so meth. Oh, so meth. I thought that was really funny. You know what? You guys were starting to let down me and that guy. You went out, it's a big night out, you put on your best shorts, you're wearing your hoodie, you got your beanie on, you didn't shave. You did, I like that. <laughs> that's a fucking cool hairstyle. I'll tell you what, that's the zombie snot of hairstyles. So there's a lot of meth here, obviously, and I can tell that because you guys always tell me that there is, okay? So it's not like I'm like, seems like there's a lot of meth here. It only takes so long talking to a person from Springfield before they're like, you're like, so what are the good places to get food? And they're like, well, if you want a burger, black sheep, it's pretty good. And then there's a really authentic Thai place. So that's pretty good. And you're like, oh, okay. And they're like, yeah, a lot of meth here though. <laughs> a lot of meth. And it's like, you're half making fun of it, but half like, there's a lot of fucking meth here, okay? <laughs> I don't know. And then somebody was like, well, do they have bad teeth? And I was like, I don't, I mean, does that mean when you go to England, you're like, everyone is on meth here? <laughs> yeah, fuck them. I'll talk shit on England, all right? <laughs> Taxation without representation, fucking meth heads. <laughs> Sucking on that glass dick, baby. <laughs> Governor. But I have to ask you, are any of you recreational meth users? No, and I really want to, I, I know that it's kind of like cocaine and stuff where you can't openly be like, it's like heroin. No one's like, yeah, I do a little heroin, or, you know. But like, do you guys know anybody who will just do math on the weekends? No? It's one or the other? You're just either barely have teeth and you're dying soon or you don't do math? There's no sliding scale? Just really, this guy up front who looks like he's definitely never done math. 
You have a look I would describe as not done meth. And I'm not sure you've done cocaine. Have you ever done cocaine? Ah! He's like, this is a collared button down shirt, isn't it? Is this your boy? Those are your boys? And then you, really? Oh, he's not their dad? Oh, no shit. <laughs> are you guys married? Yeah, 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 he loves you with all his heart. All of his heart, every time he introduces these two kids. And it's like, these are my stepsons, Rufus and Ricketts. He's almost a doctor of pharmacy. He's almost a doctor of pharmacy. That's like being a real doctor. Except you can get people opioids. Great. So what she just did was brag. She's like, he's going to make quite a bit of money on the black market. That's so exciting. He's single? Oh, I thought you were telling me that. Then she went like this. She was like, let everybody know he's single, which is how all guys get pussy. Is their mom goes, he's single and he can get opioids. Hey, everybody! He's almost a doctor of pharmacy! Get in there while you still can. This is good. Do you feel good about how the show's going so far? You could meet your wife here tonight. Wouldn't that be amazing? And what about him? You didn't, you got nothing to say about him. Did you guys see that? She like skipped right past him. And it's like, he's, he, move. He, get, put your hoodie over your face. Get it as far down as you can and push back. And I told you to, I told you to wear those shorts in case you mess your pants. It'll just fall out of the bottom. But get, scoot back! This one is almost a doctor of pharmacy. What about this little fella? He quit school and he works for the moving company. Well, he's, he's moving on up. There's nowhere to go but up. He drives a Mercedes? <laughs> yeah, he, he works at the moving company. There's no way that he is already a doctor of pharmacy, but what he sells at his pharmacy is meth. I had a great day at the moving company, and I bought a Mercedes. You did? Yeah, we were moving a ton of stuff today. I must have moved stuff all day. <laughs> you want to see my new gun? <laughs> Well, I'm proud of you, okay? You don't have to be a, you don't have to almost, not yet quite, be a doctor of pharmacy. You can be your own man. You can move forward, you can move as much meth on the street as you possibly can. But don't touch your brother's face again or I'll kick you out of the show. Look at me, I'm fucking serious, okay? That guy's gonna give me opioids in two and a half years. <laughs> what do you got? Look at the two of you. Something's going on over there. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's the kind of guy who looks in the mirror when he's having sex. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He'll take a peek. He's not looking the whole time, but he's into it, you know, and then he'll sneak a peek. Uh, that's all. Just a real quick kind of. <laughs> See that at the end, he, he, he got caught. He's like, oh, sorry, babe, sorry. <laughs> I mean, they're out there. There are guys that do that. I don't think you do it necessarily. You look up at Jesus Christ? <laughs> oh, the ceiling. <laughs> he said he looks at the ceiling. Because you went like this. He goes, I go, I don't think you're looking there. He goes, oh, no. I'm just looking at God, saying, I'm trying to make another one for you, buddy. That's, that's the only reason I'm in here, all right? It's to procreate. 
I was talking to this guy, and he goes, um, we we're talking about the pandemic, right? And so I'm talking to him, and he says, um, he's, he says, what do you think the worst part was? And I said, I think the worst part was the lockdowns, you know? You guys didn't experience quite a bit of that, um, because when I was here last time, you were the epicenter of the COVID-19 <laughs> pandemic, not epidemic, pandemic. So you were the epicenter, not of Missouri or the United States. You were the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic in the world. Did you know that? You guys remember that? You were made national news because nowhere in the world was COVID-19 growing as quickly and at such a fast rate as Springfield, Missouri. That means that in Bangladesh, India, they didn't have outdoor plumbing, but they were all like, well, at least we're not Springfield, Missouri. Thank God for that. Thank God. I mean, that's really something to hang your hat on. I'm serious. I don't think any of the other cities in the United States got to that point. So if anyone's ever like, well, I mean, don't you wish you lived in Kansas City, Missouri? You can be like, well, were they ever the epicenter? Do you guys drink White Claw? No, you don't? No? Yeah, yeah some people. You, you are or you have? No, well, I have. Yeah. You know what? I like your whole attitude. She's like, I have. <laughs> you, you have or you do? No, I have. If that's all there is, you'll drink it. There's, I love that the option is not on the table of not drinking. Isn't that kind of cool? I'm like that, too. It's like, all you have is White Claw? Yeah. Ah, shit. What's wrong? I don't like White Claw. Okay, well, you can also not drink. What the fuck did you just say to me? Pop me a couple mangoes and shut that face hole. I'm trying to get drunk. My fucking guy, my husband smokes zombie snot, all right? You think I'm going to not drink? You got another thing coming, lady! It's never occurred to me that it's true that there is the option of not drinking at all. Not for her. Do you know her? She's your sister. Wow, this is really a family affair. Oh my God. Yeah, and you've just been roped into this. How do you feel about it? It's all right. That's not what I would have said if I was in your position. Because you don't have to be honest with me at all. You're not gonna go home and when she's like, what the fuck did that mean? It's all right. It's all right. I know that one of my, my sons is gonna be able to get us drugs and the other one's trying to be a fucking pharmacist, okay? Okay? But you think all of this is just all right? Who drinks the least? It's you? Wow, really? If I was in a game show, I just would have lost like a thousand dollars. She just has this vibe of like, I showed up drunk on white wine and nobody knows. That's where my tolerance is. I don't even really know what the cultural demographic of Springfield is, to be honest with you. I know there's two, there are two uh, demographics here. There are whites. And then there are whites with meth teeth. <laughs> but listen, the reason that I asked that thing, and I was asking you guys seriously if anyone kind of does meth casually, because I think there has to be, right? It's, I mean, I've never done it. Have you done it? No, I've never done it. His, he goes, no, and then <laughs> I swear to God, his wife person just went like this. She went, you know, how much slack do you think we have here? Oh, quite a bit. Um, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Oh, not even that much. Yeah. <laughs> can't record. He can't record the show. So, sorry about that. We have to take people's phones away. Can't really trust the, uh... I'd throw it like I'd get angry and smash it, you know? But it's an Android, so it's already kind of... So we're going to take this away from you like you're a little child, okay? 
And you know, it's not as much about me not wanting you to, you know, video me because I don't want people to see this on that. I'm, I am videoing this, you know. But I want you to be present for the show. I want you to be here for the show. So instead of recording the show, let's just enjoy it. We're right here for the show. Don't worry. <laughs> She's her, her friend right now is like, fucking this, don't fucking ruin this for me again. I told you not to fucking record. I wore my best pinstripe pantsuit. And you're up there goddamn videotaping him with an Android. With a Kate Spade fucking case. This is actually a really nice case. This is what happens when you video record. And as you can tell, I'm not going to be mean to you. Other comedians would just lay into you for that leather jacket, but I'm not going to do that. Because everybody's on a budget and there aren't a ton of vintage stores in Springfield. So, what's your name? Barbie. Barbie? Perfect. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a gift from the comedy gods. I mean, it's fucking perfect. She couldn't have said a better name. There's no better name for you. Well, Barbie, thank you for joining us, and I hope you're enjoying the rest of the show. You know, because it's hard when you're a Barbie girl. Because this is your Barbie world, right? Some girl over there was like, I'm not going to let him say it. She couldn't wait for me to say Barbie world. She was like, Barbie world. What's your name, zombie snot? What is it? Randy. Randy. That's a Missouri name. Don't you guys think Randy's a great Missouri? Because Randy's a good name in general, but Randy with a Missouri is like Randy. It's just good. Do you have a truck? Yeah. Yeah. You better. You got a Nike hoodie on and fucking snakeskin cowboy boots, I think. That's ostrich. That's ostrich. Oh. Um, a pretentious hillbilly. I've never seen... I've never really come into contact with one in the wild. I've always heard about them. Hey, that's ostrich skin right there. I'm not going to ask you any questions about your truck because then I'll really get my ass handed to me. <laughs> Andy, I'm trying to think if there's a better Missouri like name. Billy. What is it? Billy? I still think Billy's uh, not... I think Randy's better. Randy. Billy. Billy's just good because it's in the word hillbilly. <laughs> I, I have to stop going by Tom. Oh, no, it's okay. You guys can start a conversation now. They fucking, once they were done with that, the whole family was like, wait, are there a lot of Randy Smiths at the doctor? Yeah, well, here's the thing. I'll call to make an appointment, and then he'll, like, have already called, but he won't tell me that. And I'm like, Randy, all you have to do is tell me when you, oh, my God, he does the same thing. Did you guys remember I'm almost a pharmacist? <laughs> guys, I'm only, like, six years away from being a pharmacist. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to move your face into the fucking Mercedes. That's my impression of your family, I think. <laughs> Except all the while, while it's happening, this guy in the middle is like, it's all right. It's all right. Just bear down. They'll be out of the fucking house at some point. I'll have access to opioids. That's why I got in this in the first place. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> it's all right. Has he ever looked in the mirror while you're having intercourse? You're not sure? You're not, you're not looking at him either, huh? Wow, that's an interesting couple that they're both having sex and he's looking in the mirror and she's just looking around. They're like, we could use new curtain rings because these ones always get stuck together. I could just do that. I wonder when he'll be done. Because I've already had an orgasm. Ooh, I had two. I already had two orgasms. I didn't even remember having the second one. He's such a good lover. If I was him, sometimes I'd even watch myself. <laughs> See, I turned that around and made it, yeah, that's a lot of fun now. Now he likes the show. He's like, ah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> and you guys all look like you would get along, the four of you. I feel like this would be. That's her my dad. dad. That's your dad? <laughs> oh. okay. Well, I guess I should ask you, is this your husband or your boyfriend? Okay, your husband. So I guess I should ask him, is she kind of a like father, like daughter situation? 
Have you ever caught her being like, <laughs> not at all. Well, I, um, I both apologize and I thank you for that situation. <laughs> you never can tell, because you don't see people as like father, daughter. I think the other thing is I never really, maybe it's just where I am now, but I never really imagined that like my comedy show would be a family affair. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like when you do comedy, you think of like, just like groups of friends coming and then couples. But I guess as you get older, it starts to be like, come on, son, let's go to the, let's go to the comedy show. Bring your Vicodin and anything else that you can get, okay? What did I tell you? It's Oxycontin, not Oxycontin, okay? And then it's just a double date where it's like, hey, I'm bringing my very attractive wife person and, uh, you sweet little daughter, you know, I'm proud of you. You know, I, I, for, for the first time, I feel a little bit, um, I'm unnerved at the fact that I teased your father about looking in the mirror while he has intercourse and about you. So I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. So if you want to, you can ask me a question about any kind of stuff, anything. You're welcome. I guess you're welcome to make me feel uncomfortable if you want to. You don't know what you say? Okay, it's my turn. What did you act like when you first saw his penis? Because every woman, I know I've been doing this and just in Springfield, this is the only place I've been talking about this, but every married couple, every couple, the woman when she first sees the guy's penis had an opinion. She just, she did. And whatever that opinion was, the guy overcame it to betroth her, you know, to become betrothed. And I asked last night, I go, what did you think of his penis when you first saw it? And the girl goes, wow. <laughs> and I was like, that can be either good or bad. Like, was it like a, wow, that's a smooth one. Or was it like, what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> what was your feeling? <laughs> was it kind of a wow moment or was it like, hey, okay. Or was it like, why don't you spin around once for me? <laughs> yeah, this is time for you to go and just rub your bare legs down with lotion in, the, in your Mercedes. I'm sorry, I couldn't believe he made that. I know he's drunk, but he's, I, I will always have your back when he goes to push your face. I'm fucking, if he does that again, I'm gonna fucking smash a goddamn glass over his head. Do you understand me? Because it's indicative of how he's treated you. Is he the older brother? Uh, younger. Younger. Well, then fucking stand up for yourself. <laughs> now I'm pissed at you. How about that? Have some fucking backbone. Hit him in the dick. You want me to get you a glass of water? You can pour it in his, on his shorts. Problem now. It'll probably have repercussions after the show. I can only protect you during the show. Is there anything you want me to make fun of him about? They live yeah, they live together. I'm not really talking to you. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but I never, I didn't even look at you. I certainly wasn't like, hey, what do you guys think? But I, I didn't even look over at you. And then to Randy and Randy and fucking White Claw over here were like, I'll tell you, they live together, okay? Is there anything you want me to cut into them about? I mean, you got a real opportunity here. You basically have a guy who his specialty is making daughters feel uncomfortable about their fathers looking in the mirror during intercourse. So I'll get him. What do you think? Anything? Or do you feel bad for him? Don't, don't bully him into being mean. Anything I can just tease him about? God, you're such a good, you're such a good older brother. In some ways, too good. And that's why he gets pushed around. Do you understand? So instead of treating him like a sweet, sweet boy who's so good. I, to, I know you're his aunt. That's why you're fucking failing, all right? You don't have to baby him like his mother has to. You have to give him the straight talk, the straight dope. Instead, you're out there getting shit flaced off fucking mango white claws. With zombie snot out back just having intercourse in the bed of his very nice truck with his ostrich condom that he won't stop using 
and it's so expensive. He goes, honey, we got to use it once or twice. Can't just use it once. They're $14 a condom. I know he's a good baby. That's what I'm talking about. You got to stop being a good baby. You got to be a bad boy. You got to be a bad little boy. So I want you to stand up for yourself, okay? When he comes out here on the way back. And he sits down. Shut up. <laughs> Just push his face away from you. Okay. All right, you know what to do, right? So he'll sit down. And can I have a couple shots when you guys get a chance? That's way overdue. And I think about a bad, you're a bad guy. You're not a sweet little baby. You're a fucking badass. Look at your Justin Bieber haircut. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a shit, okay? You got on dark denim. I like what you're doing. Uh, can you introduce yourself to everybody? Yeah, I'm Natalie. Give it up for Natalie, everybody! <laughs> Natalie? Now tell me. Why don't you tell me, what do you think of this audience? You threw him right off the fucking... The God damn it, that was great! Oh my gosh, full into it. Hey, listen. Hey, that'll teach you to fuck with your older brother, all right? Good job, buddy. Hey, you all right? Great job, okay. That's good. You have a drinking problem. I also... Uh, uh, if, I don't know if you guys like hot sauce, but I love hot sauce. And so I have my own line of hot sauce, and it is so fucking good. And we have three different levels of heat. This is TJ's Choice Chipotle, smoky, good on breakfast burrito. <laughs> uh, I have extreme gangster heat. My little pharmacist probably deserves some of that after pushing his goddamn brother on the ground. And then uh, this one's for the pepperheads. This one's called fucking intense ghost pepper type shit. So if you guys really can go for it, but it's got real flavor to it. It's not a gimmick. So if you guys want to get into that, that's outside. It's customary for me to take a shot with the person that I thought was sort of the winning audience member, okay? But there are so many, I don't even know what to do. You know what I mean? And now I love this. Barbie, you already had your moment, okay? <laughs> so we're here doing it. But I want to say, man, I really, really had a great time with you tonight. I think you might have learned something, okay? And I want you to have some more backbone, okay? And I want you to get your shit together. Right? But this goes to your brother. Here you go. The reason it goes to him, and what's your name? Is it Randy? Brie? Brady. Brady. Brady, Randy, Billy, I like it. So, Brady, I want to say, when he pushed uh, Brady's head, Brady threw himself off and smashed some glasses. Because Brady wanted the attention, but also, I think in some ways, Brady was sort of saying, if you want to push my face, I'll fall on the floor for you. That's how much I love you, older brother. So, in a strange way, here's to family. Springfield! Thank you so much! Good night! Laughed my ass off. Had tears coming out of my eyes. It was fun. Uh, I was probably a little bit too sober and he's probably a little too drunk, but had a good time. I had a great time. Uh, honestly, I, I feel like I got my money's worth. I feel like I should have been front and center, but that's okay. I, I can't be front and center all the time, So, but I do feel like I got my Yeah. 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 I mean, I'd like a rim job with it, but it was good. Groundbreaking, absolutely. And he does look like a very much of a gangster. This one Kate is, is a lucky woman. This one is the O face, and he's very excited about it, as am I. Yeah. As you know, every show is different because he bounces off the crowd. It was great. His <laughs> off the cuff work was fantastic. Oh, now you show up. <laughs> Dude, he, he's great. He's funnier than what I figured he was going to be. I mean, like I said, he had me laughing the entire damn time. He's just one funny son of a bitch. <laughs>